All right, so it is September 13th. The figs are starting to ripen here and there uh, on main crop figs. And look at this, this is very interesting to me. This is a Tacoma Violet. Goes all the way up to here, reaches the top of the, the greenhouse, bends a little bit. It's very productive right up here because I, I cut this thing um, last year and then I wanted it to branch out. I've got Nolan with me and he is excited because he can see that there's ripe figs on here. This is a Tacoma Violet. Usually it turns about kind of a dark purple black color. Because it's in a greenhouse, it is not black and it is more bronzy. Isn't that interesting? All right, so let's get ready to pick this and taste test the Tacoma Violet today. All right, so it looks like we have a ripe main crop Brandon. Um, and looks a little bit different compared to the previous years, huh? This one seems to have some striping on here that I find pretty interesting, quite beautiful actually, on the ribbing. Um, we'll pick this guy. But little tip for this time of year, you know, we're, we're moving into September where the days are getting shorter, it's getting a little bit colder. Figs about this size are not going to ripen. So you're best off um, just pulling them off. There's no reason to keep them on the tree because what happens then is the tree is going to try to funnel some of the energy into um, these younger figs and it won't have enough energy to ripen up the ones that are, you know, a little bit closer, like this one right here is going to benefit from me plucking off this guy. So in about a, probably two or three days, once I pick these guys off, all that energy is going to go into this fig right here. So, um, yeah, don't let them waste its energy on these little figs that won't ripen. Best to pick them off, um, like this guy right here. See these little tiny figs coming out here in September? They're not going to ripen. Don't waste your time. And don't waste their energy. So we'll pick those guys in a little bit. Let's check out um, my Golden Riverside. Right over here. So this is my one Golden Riverside. It is a really, really, really awesome tree. Um, look at the size of this fruit this year. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. They're just like golden bells of goodness. This one is the biggest one of them all. Look at the size of that. Every single branch is just laden with fruit. Look at, and look at the cluster up here. These all should ripen in time this year. Um, so I'm pretty excited to try them out. Uh, and this one is so close, but it feels still kind of firm. You can see that it's splitting a little bit here because all that, I mean, I fed this thing really well treated it like a king fertilized it once a month um, kept it watered and it's outgrowing the pot down here already because it's uh, has been feeding really well so this thing um, will most likely go in ground I know I've had a lot of requests for the Golden Riverside and I'm gonna try to meet some of those demands um, you know I only have one tree but there's a long waiting list for some of the cuttings off of this tree so uh, yeah Golden Riverside, awesome tree. Okay, we have more ripe figs today. And um, first I wanna show you this Kathleen's Black. Remember the previous one, it was tiny. And this guy is hefty. I mean, it is probably five times the size of that previous one. And so a lot of that energy is being channeled into this fig as soon as I picked the, the previous ones. Anyhow. Um, which goes to show that, you know, figs, figs are, they kind of favor different, uh, fruit on their tree. So they don't distribute all the energy evenly. Uh, this is a Zingarella. This guy should be picked. Way too ripe. 
Um, but this is not what we're doing today. We are picking a couple of other figs. You know, my Jack Lily over here has been really amazing. Um, it's productive. Uh, it's been ripening reliably. And the, and the fruits have gotten better and better. <laughs> Look at this Sakura Black. It's been in the greenhouse and so it hasn't had a lot of uh, light from the sun and the UV. I think it's what helps the figs get a little bit darker. So it's staying a little bit lighter. This one is going to be ready really soon. Um, all right. There's a whole bunch of other figs here. Some of our are ripening, some aren't. All right, let's go get the Tacoma Violet. And these are all ripe. Okay. Nice. Now, as you can see here, they're not really that dark. That's because in the greenhouse, it doesn't get the full sun, which is what I believe helps them get the color. And so, um, you know, speaking to my friends over at Fig Agro Lab, they have a hard time getting figs to get really black because it might be the humidity, it might be because of the sunshade that is used, but there's a number of factors. Um, check this out. These are Black Siddhar main crop. These guys are almost ready. I'm really, really curious about what it's gonna taste like. Should be good. The brie was good. Main crop usually is supposed to be better. Okay, so here it is. We picked a lot of fruit today. Picked off the uh, the Brandons. The Brandons did some, something kind of weird this year. They they actually did not produce Brebas and um, only main crop. Isn't that beautiful though? Look at that color. The striping. Really cool. These are the Tacoma Violets. Really weird because they're supposed to be dark purple black almost. And then just a Jack Lily. Zingarella, some Italian plums, um, definitely enough to feast on for tonight. Anyhow, let's weigh them. Okay, so Tacoma Violet, these all look comparable in size. I'm just going to pick one up and weigh it. 36 grams, let me do an average, 31, and then 32. So you're looking at about 33 grams on average there. All these nice looking jack lilies. These are all quite beautiful, really nice. Let's try out the Brandon size and weight. Really small, 19.5. I'm pretty sure this other one is a little bit lighter. Let's cut them open. All right, let's cut these guys open and take a quick peek what they look like from the inside. Oh man, this looks really good. So look at this, this is the Brandon. Nice and syrupy, looks very good. Lots of seeds in there, so it might provide a nice little crunch. Here's the Tacoma Violet, always a nice looking fig on the inside. They didn't get as dark as they uh, used to, Zingarella. And then the Jack Lily. These have gotten better and better as we have been moving into September. Quite good. All right, so let's go ahead and give these guys a try. I'm gonna taste this Brandon. Very nice looking big. Beautiful skin this year. It's not bad. Not as sweet as I would like it to be. And it could be because of the rains that we've been having in Seattle now that we're moving into the fall. Not as sweet, very, very subtle flavor. I wish it was a little bit more rich uh, and a little bit more uh, sweet than uh, than it is right now. It was quite good last year. Okay, so let's go ahead and give the Tacoma Violet a try. Mmm, mmm, man, that is so good. Rich very tender uh, pulp 
the syconium here leaves this kind of nice texture and has its own kind of richness about it and it's sweet with a little bit of an uh, acidic punch very very subtle but very good very good fig very very good fig um let's do another taste test on the jack lily we know what the zingarella tastes like pretty average uh black fig oh dude that has gotten so so much better than the first time i've tasted it perfectly sweet nice kind of agave honey flavor about it slightly melony um but syrupy very very syrupy Look how syrupy that is. Delicious. And it's very productive. So this, this fig is a keeper for sure. Jack Lily, keeper. Tacoma Violet, keeper. Zingarella, good average fig. Early enough, keeper. Brandon, keeper. Does super well here in the Pacific Northwest because it gives you two crops. And so um, I would say that out of these ones, if I had to plant them in ground, probably do the Brandon Tacoma Violet uh, Zingarella probably Jack Lily maybe maybe even Jack Lily in ground um, but we'll see I actually plan on leaving most of the collection out in the uh, outdoors because there's no possible way that I'm gonna fit all these fig trees into that greenhouse over there and uh, there's more, right? I've got all along my patio area, all along that side of the yard. There's no way they're going into the greenhouse. So this is a true test of a make it or break it um, for these figs. Uh, they're gonna stay outdoors. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, there's more videos to come. I've got a Sakura Black that should be ripe pretty soon. That's a brand new fig to me. See you next time. Bye.